What's going on everyone? Matthew Osborne here with an exciting announcement. Two years ago we launched the original version of New Price. It was our first pass at really creating a, a way for Amazon sellers to reprice their inventory more precisely than some other off-the-shelf repricing softwares that are out there. The tool is not really much more than a glorified Chrome extension when it first launched. It did the job, but unfortunately did have many glitches due to how we pulled in the data uh, from Seller Central and from Amazon. So we did what software developers do best, and we completely rebuilt New Price from scratch. We took all the feedback along the way that you guys provided and completely overhauled everything about New Price to make it into a shiny new web app that will work on any device, no more downloading uh, required or updating or anything else like that. It's faster, it's sleeker, it's more advanced in every single way from the old version. You can now even reprice up to a thousand items with a single click from any computer. Uh, you can seriously set up your triggers just like you would in Scout IQ, and then based on age or e-score or SKU, click a single button to reprice a thousand items and to match those triggers without you having to go and manually select every single price. Uh, you can use the custom triggers with the more advanced settings to really automate your repricing decisions and take into account a bunch of other factors that affect your pricing, uh, more so than just a standard trigger set would. This will give you kind of a full encompassing view of the product to be able to make sure you're repricing the item correctly. You can see the sales history with chart IQ for every item and even set a floor profit to ensure you never lose money on an item. As a thank you for those of you that have stuck with us for the ups and downs, uh, we're re-releasing we're re the original uh, launch special of New Price. So for the next uh, week, until the end of November, it'll be $99 a year if you sign up for an annual plan and it will be locked in versus the normal $130 a year. Uh, so to see a more detailed demo, uh, stick around more on this video, or if you wanna sign up and take it for a test spin right now, you can sign up on newprice.co. You'll sign up with a new account even if you are a past customer. You'll start off with a 14-day trial, and anyone that signs up within the next few days of November will automatically have that launch special applied to them. Um, so go to the website and sign up there if you want to take it for a spin. Otherwise, stick around. I'll give you some more detailed explanation of the tool and kind of the features we've added into New Price 2.0. So to get started, this is the main screen that you'll see. I've blurred out uh, the skew down here, but that's the only thing that you're not seeing on this page. So a quick rundown of the things we're seeing here. Some of it will look familiar, some of it will be new. We have metrics at the top for you to gauge how quickly and how frequently you're repricing your inventory. You can see how many active today, this week, and this month to see how quickly you're going through your inventory. You can quickly switch between active and inactive inventory right here, and soon we'll be having a stranded inventory tab as well, so you can quickly reprice any stranded inventory issues uh, with a single click. We have normal search and normal filters just like the original new price did. And then we have everything down here, age, last updated, ASIN, SKU, category, title, as long with your condition and the fulfillment method. You can hover over the chart icon right here to see the history, the sales history, the chart IQ. Then we have your current price and the profit you're going to be making at the current price and the target price based on your trigger set right here and then the normal uh, offers over here on the right side. So the way this works is that you select items as you go down the page. It'll start off by showing you 50 items but you can change it over here to see up to a thousand items at a single time. You can click this to select everything all at once or you can go through and select just the items you want. This is a great example in this book right here because Based on the trigger set, it's actually telling us we're priced too low for this book. So it's giving us a higher target price because you can see some prices have changed since this was originally priced. Um, and so it's asking you to reprice it higher. So you're going to have options to match target price and to match the buy box at the top. So if you match the target price, it's going to match everything you've selected to your trigger set. If you match the buy box, it'll match everything to the buy box. It's pretty self-explanatory there. You also have the ability to go in just like the old new price and type in a custom price. It'll tell you what the old price was, what your new custom price is. You can select a few if you wanna reprice them custom, click a few options uh, versus doing it automatically. And then you're gonna come up here and click the reprice custom button. Whenever you click to reprice uh, items, even if it's up to a thousand items, you're gonna have a confirmation screen that pops up. It's gonna tell you which books you're repricing in the list, 
what the current price is for everything, the new price, the profit, and then the adjusted floor price. Uh, and we'll talk about the adjusted floor price in a second. That way you can quickly scan through and make sure you didn't make any mistakes or errors while going through there. You click to reprice, it'll automatically reprice those in the back end. You can close out of the application um, and it'll queue those items up to reprice. Going back here to the main screen, I want to point out two things. We just talked about floor profit and that can be found right here. This is something we added to make sure you never lose money on an item. The good thing about triggers is it can automatically make some decisions for you. The bad thing is that certain books are not going to be valuable to sell anymore if the prices have tanked too much. So instead of basing it off the triggers where it might price it at $5 and if it's a heavy book you might lose $4 on it, you can set a minimum floor profit of let's say one cent or one dollar and if the triggers try and price it below that it's going to bump it up so you have a minimum profit of whatever you type into this box such as in this case one penny. Um, over here you also have your active triggers. So you can make trigger sets just like Scout IQ and you can select the default triggers or you can select one of your custom trigger sets and it's going to apply whatever triggers selected in this drop down to everything on the page. If you want to edit these triggers we're going to go up to user settings then we're going to click on manage trigger batches right here and then it's going to open up your trigger screen. Yours is going to look different. Yours is just going to have the default triggers to start off with. You can look at the default triggers or if you want to make new triggers and have them populate the defaults, you can edit them. Just click create new trigger set. And once you do, it's going to pre-populate them with all the default values. You can make triggers for used FBA and merchant fulfilled and the new FBA and merchant fulfilled. So you can really customize triggers to the item that's being repriced. All of these values should look pretty similar if you've ever used Scout IQ. Um, all of these trigger sets will be pre-populated for you. And then we've added some advanced triggers to really take this to the next level. So if you click the edit button on any of these individual triggers, you're going to get this screen. You can change all the default values right here, but we've added some more advanced ones. We've added some ceilings to account for all the different variances you'll find with an item. So I'll quickly run through what these uh, advanced settings do and kind of how they work. So in this case, we have it enabled for ceiling number one. And it says new buy box at 5%. So what this is saying is that regardless of what the triggers say, it'll never price above the 5% above the new, new buy box. It'll always price 5% below the new buy box. So for example, sometimes you'll find cases where uh, you can, the new buy box is $25, but for some reason the used buy box is $200. That's not a realistic price if someone can buy it brand new for 25. So what this is gonna do is it's gonna override that trigger and say we're gonna price 5% below the new buy box or whatever value you want to put in this uh, item right here. Uh, the next one right here is turned on, so primeless. So if there are no prime offers, um, it's going to take the average of the three used offers, then either price $10 above those or 20% above those, whichever is greater. That way, instead of just, if there's no visibility into prime prices, instead of matching the really, really low merchant filled offers, you can take advantage of that prime bump and bump that item up uh, because there's no prime offers and you can price higher than you would be able to otherwise. Ceiling number two is also turned on as the average of the three used offers. It's going to add $10 or 20%. What this does is it pre prevents from overinflated prices that are not realistic. Sometimes you'll find books where all the used offers or merchant filled offers are $5 and the lowest FBA price is $1,000 or $800 or something along those lines. That's not a realistic price and the triggers would want to place it there. So this is going to override that and take it down to a more reasonable level that could be expected with something with this e-score and uh, this rank. So it's going to kind of bring that back down to a realistic number for you. And finally, it's going to compare to the buy box and this always reject is off. And we've changed these default values based on what we use uh, on these different trigger sets. So you can go through and modify these or you can leave these new ceiling values the same. But these will really help you when there's no prime prices or if the price is overinflated. Um, so you can really get the most money for every single book that you reprice. So uh, now along with the other cool features and upgrades, there is a change between the web version and the old desktop version. So with the desktop version, we we're able to get all the prime prices because we use your computer and your browser to pull in those prices from your Amazon account and simply display them to you. This worked within Amazon's terms of service. With the web app, however, in order to show you all the prime prices, we would need to scrape Amazon, store those prices, then display those prices back to you. This would violate Amazon's terms of service and would put your account at risk and our developer account at risk as well, potentially. 
So for new price 2.0, you will not be able to see all the prime prices for all offers like you could with the desktop version of new price. Uh, but don't worry because all hope is not lost. Uh, we do have more data than your typical scouting app or web tool would. Uh, with the way we're able to pull in your inventory, we have visibility into the lowest prime price for every single item if it exists in your inventory. So for all items, if there is a prime price available, you will see at least the lowest prime price and we'll display more if we're able to. And most items like this will display more than just the lowest prime price. We've set up the advanced triggers like I just showed you uh, with this in mind to help compensate for not seeing all the FBA offers and you have the ability to really adjust how it pri prices your books and when all the prime prices are not visible. So that's the basics of New Price 2.0. We have a list of features that we're adding. Uh, we've had great feedback though with the users that have used this tool up to this point that have helped us test this tool. So if you're interested in trying it out and claiming the launch special pricing, sign up on newprice.co and it will automatically start a 14 day trial period for you and for you to take it for a spin and see if you like it before fully committing to it. We look forward to hearing your feedback after you get a chance to test out the new and improved new price.